Hi everyone, it's Donnie Lowy at CloseThatExplosion.com. I'm at my dress warehouse in Brooklyn, New York. I'm located in a neighborhood that is called Red Hook. It's a beautiful neighborhood by the water. There's a beautiful Ikea nearby, a fairway supermarket. You have an indoor cafe and an outdoor cafe. If you ever wanna sit and have a beautiful view of the Statue of Liberty, after you come to me, you could head to the, to the cafe or you could come before, it's really nice. I've gone to eat there many times, I really enjoy it. So, let me tell you today what the topic is. The topic is, should you ship by air or by sea when you buy a wholesale merchandise? Now, first of all, what is the difference? When you ship by air, it goes on a plane, and usually shipping could take about seven to 10 days. It can be faster, it can take longer, but that's usually the time frame that is given when the shipping is done by air. When you ship by sea, of course, it's going on a boat, it's going on a container, and it could take four to six weeks. When you ship by sea, there, I mean, there's definitely other variables because there has to be, you know, containers that are headed to, to where you're shipping to the port that you need to receive your goods. And also, when you ship by air, the shipment is going to go to the nearest international airport, and then you could, they, the shipping company could deliver door to door if they offer that option, or you'd have to pick it up from the closest international airport. When you ship by sea, also, you might have the option where you can get it delivered door to door, or you might have to pick it up by the nearest port. So you want to take those in considerations into account, whether they deliver door to door, and if they don't deliver door to door, is it easy, is it, is it feasible for you to go to the nearest airport or to the nearest port to pick up your merchandise? Make sure you use a shipping company that either can connect you with a customs broker or handles clearing of merchandise through customs. Those two things are important. If you have your own customs broker, you don't have to worry about it. Many times our freight forwarding companies have contacts where they have customs brokers or they act as a customs broker, but you wanna look into that as well. Now, another thing you wanna factor in when you're shipping by sea as compared to shipping by air, and let's first take a step back. The big benefit of shipping by sea is that the cost is a lot less. I'm gonna give you an example. When you ship to Nigeria, and you could use any shipping company that you want. I currently use corporate messengers for my customers in Nigeria. So when you ship by air, they charge $3.60 per pound. The actual rate can fluctuate, so you wanna contact them directly, or I could put you in touch with them if you'd like. And when they, you ship by sea, they ship by what's called by a barrel, which is just a, basically a very big plastic container. And when you ship by sea, it's $200 for that barrel. Now that barrel can fit approximately 400 pounds worth of clothing. Depends, of course, what you're putting in. You're gonna be able to put in less or more items depending on the size of your items and depending what kind of items there are. If you're shipping clothing, of course, the clothing could be squeezed in. If you're shipping electronics or hard goods, you're not gonna be able to squeeze in that many products. You're actually not gonna be able to, you know, to, so to speak, to squeeze your products in. So have that in mind as well. Now, here's a very important thing. A lot of people might be tempted to say, hey, you know what, let me just get my goods by sea I'll wait an extra, you know, for it's not an extra four to six weeks, right? Because it takes seven to 10 days to ship by air. So essentially you're only waiting maybe another, let's say another three to five weeks to get your goods by sea. And of course it's a, it's a lot cheaper. It costs you a lot less to ship by sea. But the thing is, if you need your goods for a specific period, let's say you need your goods for a specific holiday season or a national holiday or a sporting event or a vacation period, then you, you might need to ship it by air because you need your goods right away. But here's the thing, if you know that you have enough time to get your goods for a certain season that is coming later on and you have enough time, then you could ship by sea. Another reason to, sh where, how you, another way to set up, I should say, a better system to ship by sea is essentially to buy goods on a regular basis. This way, once you get into the cycle, you'll be getting goods on a weekly basis, right? If you order every single week and every shipment takes four to six weeks to receive your goods, at once you get your first shipment, you get for the first shipment, you'll have to wait four to six weeks, but your next shipment will come the following week and so on. If you order every two weeks, you'll be getting shipments every two weeks. So there's definitely a lot of factors to put into place, but if you do need your goods right away and if you could make, you know, if you're confident that you can make a lot of money and you can make that money right away and you want to make that money right away, then it might make sense for you to pay the extra cost to have a ship by air because there's an expression, right? You don't want to be a pound 
foolish and a penny wise, if I remember the right the expression the right way. But essentially, you don't want to save some money on the shipping and then lose out on the potential or the opportunity to sell your merchandise at a high profit, right? So the bottom line in business, when you're selling products, you want to make as much as you can. So sometimes it pays to pay more for the shipping so that you can get your goods right away and you can turn them over faster and order more goods. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closethatexplosion.com. My WhatsApp cell phone number is one nine one seven nine one three six zero nine three. I hope to see you very soon.